How's it going everybody? Hope you guys are having a great day and welcome back to another video. So throughout this video, I'm briefly going to be going over potential FIFA 17 ratings for most Real Madrid players. Now we're going to start things up from ground up. Kaylor Navas, the savior of the season. Of course, he was always linked with being transferred for De Gea. However, it certainly worked out for the better. This guy put in a shift this season. Again, arguably the best player wearing a uniform. He had a mid-season upgrade from, I believe, 79 overall to 82 overall. And I have him starting off FIFA 17 at 84. Carvajal is another player who kind of came out of nowhere in a sense that Danilo was that starting right back when the season first started. He did have a mid-season upgrade from 81 to 82. I have him starting off FIFA 17 at 83 as he is the starting right back at this point in time. Pepe, an amazing, amazing performance in the Euros. Started this season out at 84 overall, had a bunch of informs. I have him going at 85 again. He was arguably the most important player for Portugal aside from Ronaldo and uh, he just kept them in it every game that he played he was the man of the match in my opinion now moving on Sergio Ramos a player who's kind of been stuck at 87 overall for the past two maybe even three years as long as I can remember he's been stuck at 87 overall I think this is the year that he kind of boosts himself up he had an amazing super cup goal with the header coming in like the 93rd minute very 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 clutch call him the Kobe of FIFA because this guy just comes up with last minute game winners even with Atletico uh, in the Champions League he did manage to score a goal this season as well I do have him starting off at 88 overall now Varane is one of my favorite center backs in the world young fast talented I have him at 83 overall to start FIFA 17 plus one pace and plus one physical now moving on to arguably the best left back in the world my favorite left back in the game lots and lots of flair in this guy Marcelo he could have probably been 84 overall this year however FIFA 17, I have him starting off at 84 overall. He could even be 50, 85, sorry, uh, just because, in my opinion, if you ask me, if you ask a lot of people, him and Alaba are right up there in that top spot for best left back in the world. A modern day Roberto Carlos, you can call him. His dribbling is amazing, his passing is amazing, his link up play with Ronaldo. Now, a player that I'm somewhat disappointed with uh, when it comes down to Madrid. I'm a huge Madrid fan. I tried keeping this as unbiased as possible is James Rodriguez. Of course, he might just not be in Zidane's good books. However, I do have him dropping in overall from 87 to 86. He didn't really do much this season, didn't really get much of an opportunity to shine either. Under Rafa Benitez, he got a lot of time. However, with Zidane, it was likely that we would see Casemiro, Modric, and Cruz, an amazing, amazing midfield line starting every game. James just did not fit in. Casemiro, 77 overall, the biggest upgrade you guys will see in any Madrid player in my opinion. He was the difference maker in every game. He kind of held it down. He was like the Busquets of uh, Barcelona. However, he added his own flair. He's tall, he's strong, and uh, I give him plus five defending, plus one physical, uh, plus three passing, and plus one pace. He didn't really seem too slow to me when I was watching Madrid games, and he always seemed to get himself involved. Again, he was one of those underrated players this season who went under the radar. However, I never really saw him have a horrible game, a bad game. He was always average or above average, if you ask me. Now moving on to Modric, he got himself a Team of the Year card this year. I do see him being 88 overall to start FIFA 17. I've given him plus 2 passing, plus 2 defending, kept the physical where it was always at, kept the dribbling where it was always at along with the pace and shooting. He had a fairly decent Euro start off with Croatia and along with that he was just Zidane's first choice in every game. You would always see him playing, he was barely injured. Him and Cruz were just a duo to be not reckoned with basically. Uh, they were putting amazing shifts. I have both of them going on from 87 to 88 overall just because every game they were constantly, in my opinion, they were always average. I never saw them have a bad game. Of course, Modric did have that one bad game against Barcelona when the season first started. However, he picked it up dramatically and got himself a Team of the Year card. Now, Benzema is a player who I've always been surprised at. He was at 85 overall last year, 86 overall this year. I'd be surprised if he doesn't get that plus one upgrade to 87 overall. An amazing striker, didn't unfortunately make the France team, uh, him and Valbuena for reasons, of course, and uh, I've met 87 overall. Now, Gareth Bale is a player who I was disappointed with last season. I was very happy with him the first season, but he's back in form. I have him going at 89 overall. The stats, I'm very, he can be 88 as well, but the stats I've given him, plus two shooting, plus two dribbling, plus one physical, 89 overall Gareth Bale. Looking forward to that. Now, Cristiano Ronaldo, an amazing player, Won the Champions League along with all the Real Madrid players. Him and Pepe won the Euros, and uh, it was just unfortunate to see him have to sit out. However, 
I have him at 93 overall. Don't think EA will change that just because the amount of special cards he does manage to get throughout the year. I believe this year we had to overlap at least 7, 8, or sorry, at least 3 to 4 cards at 97 overall, at 96 overall. And he had an amazing performance in the Champions League. 16 goals this year. The catch is, with Messi not being the cover boy anymore, I don't believe he's really signed on the contract with EA at this point in time. Hopefully, in my opinion, I'm hoping to see Messi and Ronaldo tied at 93 overall. Again, I would put them both at 94. However, this year was just spectacular for the both of them. They did manage to overlap their special cards quite a bit. 99 overall cards, 98 overall cards. Ronaldo even had a 99 team of the season card. So I have both of them staying at 93 overall. Ronaldo, of course, he could be at 94. Both of them could be at 94 or 95. Personally, I would want to see Ronaldo a bit higher this season than Messi. However, I don't think that's ever going to happen. And just being equal to Messi is uh, more than enough for a Real Madrid fan, more than enough for Ultimate Team players and FIFA players. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the video. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know what your guys' opinions are down below. It's been Toxic here, and I'm out of here, guys. See ya. Peace.